Got it. Push hard. You gotta run it in. There you go. Woo! Woo! Not the new ones. Because you gotta screw those up when you put them in the right spot. See, these boards here, these boards here, yeah. we're gonna raise those up so the ceiling's higher. After reviewing some of the video, I realized that we didn't uh, do a very good job of explaining what we were doing with these strings. So uh, here's a glimpse of where it's headed. But uh, if you see up here, what we did is we took the first board, we mounted using the strings lower to the to the board that was art that we basically matched on the roof. Um, they're all in the same position, right? But you don't know if they're actually a perfectly level, which we put a level on it so we know they're actually not. So they're orientated very slightly one direction out of level, but you don't want to build everything out level because then it's not going to translate to the way everything was built originally. So we ran strings off the top of the boards, right, very wide. So you see string up there, string up there, and then we just match the boards up to the bottom of the roof and to where they just barely touch those strings. So they're at pretty much the exact same height and orientation as the board's all the way down. So that was the idea of the string. And then, uh, yeah, obviously this is where we're headed. We're basically just creating created trusses. So that way we could take out all the lower rafters and raise the roof up. String throwing ball. Hey. Look at that. Didn't get to see its creation. I, I mean, just imagine the finest machine work you've ever seen. There's, that's Not pretty fine. much what went down right here. In the ghetto. <laughs> Next thing you know, they'll be carrying these at your local Lowe's. <laughs> Tennis ball with a hole in it. <laughs> String runner. Oh man, actually, so... <laughs> what I really want to do is fucking throw it like Derek Jeter, right? Craig beat you, more like it. Derek Jeter's a punk. But, uh... I almost think that may not be the best move now. I may just give it like a half toss and try and land it on these rafter things. That's what I just told you to do. Yeah, and let it roll all the way down. Mm -hmm. Now I'm picking up what you're putting down. I didn't realize what the fuck you were saying. It's not ideal. Throw away. They don't, outfielders don't normally play in the roofs. Oh shit. Right. I think you're a bench warmer. I think so too. <laughs> ah, ah. Fucking shack of baseball. Change? Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> can you can we is it is it reachable from down? Oh, you went backwards. Ah. Can you try it again? Oh, that was, oh yeah, that was a lot better. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna get a real good throw this time. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Fucking shit. Dude, I made it pretty far though. There you go. Oh. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. I'll shoot a screw right there. And tire tight. Oh, yeah. I'm going to set up the camera right over here on the cooler. Y'all try not to knock it down, okay? I will knock down. These are just...
this structure over here the rafters are the load carrying area all of this was literally just added to hang drywall and since we're not putting drywall back up adios I could take all that out without bracing anything I don't think my video camera could do fuck all for that. Because planes move faster than that. Is it moving? Uh huh. You get to compare it to the clouds. Well, the clouds move. Oh, unless I'm watching the clouds move. You, oh my God, Clayton! <laughs> Jesus, dude! You got us all excited for a UFO. Oh boy! Oh my God! You're oh, never mind. I thought you were full sitting the whole board at one time. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Wait up yourselves. Did you hear anything? You hit my ladder again. Ah! We're still alive. Is, is it creaking and groaning? I can't tell. I'm hearing sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. I don't know that song. You don't know the song? What? Yeah. How do you not know the sledgehammer song? He didn't know either. He was talking about the tractor chain, and I was like, that chain is poison. Nope. No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. Wow. Fuck it up. I didn't think that was even possible. <laughs> Your dad's previous nickname is the sledgehammer. He used to be a rat killer with a sledgehammer. He moonlighted as a rat killer. Here. No. He, no, he didn't. Ask him. No, he just tells you these things. No, not me. I didn't tell her. Mom told me the story. <laughs> yeah, he makes these things up. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm over at Gramps' shop. We are struggling. We know the overall length that the rafter, whatever the tie-in thing needs to be, when we took the stub of the rafter we cut out, and use that as a pattern for the angle, it was completely wrong. So obviously they didn't calculate the angle. They just kind of lopped them off and they were close enough and they screwed them in. Um, we want as much meat to attach to as we can get. So we're trying to get the correct angle. So we calculated 21 and a half. Then Clayton's iPhone said 18 degrees. So we're gonna cut both boards and see which one's right. That is insanely more angle. Okay, that might work. I hate this guard. Were you supposed to be at the tip because you're not at the tip of that board? It's, I was close enough to the tip. Okay. I gotta walk down this guard. It's like totally screwing me. <sighs> Safety equipment just sometimes drives me a fucking wall.
Don't cut your fingers off. Why not? I work with a lot of people who cut their fingers off. I don't want to hear all your whining. <laughs> You should just toss that right in that trash can right over there and keep your dad's shop clean. You're just saying that so hopefully he'll watch the video and think you're looking out for him. No. There's the difference between 18 and 21 and a half. About three quarters of an inch. Okay, let's go find out. Okay. Get up off top of the This will be our last on top of the screen. A spider web myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I grabbed gloves out. I got splintered. Yeah, dude. That's why I have gloves on. Oh God! Hold on, I'm breaking it. Get it over your way. No, right. turn it stop. Turn it sideways. Make it me. All right, hang on. Here. We got this. I got it. Okay. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, no, you're on the wrong right side. side. What? You're on the wrong this side of the board. This side of that board. We're coming up. Oh shit! I'm about to move the ladder. Set it back up on the rafter, bro. Come on. Oh, shit. I mean... Well, it was raining. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I brought a half a case of beer. Y'all's cameras up there. Because I was like, well, I know tomorrow y'all aren't going to... Y'all are having a day off tomorrow, right? No. We're going to do a pub crawl tomorrow. What yeah. time? You're supposed to go limo us there. What? Yeah, that's supposed to drive us there in the limo. Get out of here, Co! Hey, I'm happy to be back over here. I think they were all across the road. Oh, get out of here, monkey! The long size ladder, but uneven surface, not like it's necessarily it's the easiest. I'm way going to, to put this just right here for just a minute while I stock this. Are you done? Your vagina stopped hurting? Walking. Yeah. It should just, what you should do is lower the board where it just barely moves the string and then pick it back up. Right there. Okay. Here's the same thing. Is it just off the stream? Yeah. That's, that's where I'm going to be, right? All right. The wood, though, won't the screws into these kind of suck it up? Not that I want to have to do it, but... What are you talking about? Like when, when they put the wood paneling in for the ceiling? Well, well what's up? What are you talking like about? Even if this was off by like just an eighth of an inch or something. Oh, absolutely. What we're going to do is we're going to angle it. We're going to screw to the side of the rafter. I and set it on top of the 2x6, screw it down into the 2x6, and then we're going to cleat the back side with another small piece of 2x4, and screw into the 2x6 and into the 2x4, like that. Interesting. Okay. That way the board runs straight and it's not at an angle. Well, I think we should do I got five more than I think we should do two. I don't think we need to do one. We just do one, like crisscross it, like an X shape. Um, do what? Like an X shape. We're not, no, you don't cross them. You, you do V's. You can go this way, this way, this way, this way. That's what I'm saying. I, I was saying the same thing. I think I'm good here. I could try and V's make, are different than X's. I could try and make a six Dude, if you want. An X is just now, two. Now, if you got five in it, it's five X is like, just two V's. In blood for touch. Yeah. yeah. Man, that looks solid. We did good. Beer break. Not uh, yet. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna watch this on video. What is it? Oh shit, he's going for it. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Cut this side for us. <laughs> hey, that's the sketchiest side. If I cut that side, this could potentially cantilever up and pop up the end of the roof. But y'all stretch it with that. That is a confident. We're basically going like 
chunk by chunk. And that is a confident approach you have there. What I'm gonna do when y'all get to the light? Mm. That's uh, next. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The roof fell. We're fucked. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that is a, that's gonna really, really open it up. Hell oh, yeah, it is, dude. That's gonna be yeah. so good. It's gonna feel so big in here. Yeah, I agree. And you get rid of this said. bullshit. I hope that's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shane thinks that the rat sledgehammer story is fictitious. It is not. Ah, oh, ah. I saw it with my own eyes. The rat was literally bonking into a wall, bonking into a wall down this long hallway. I channeled slowly, my inner Slowly, slowly. And we went all the way to the garage and got dad. And he came home and sledgehammered it. He first yelled, he, you want me to put the hammer he, down? He grabbed the only thing he could grab, <laughs> which was a sledgehammer, and he sledgehammered it. That chain is poison. <laughs> That was a foamy burp. What? Hey, now that I'm burping up, now that, I, now that I'm burping up beer foam, let me run a saw. <laughs> okay. Why does that really? It's just not a good sign. Anytime you're burping up beer foam, that means your belly's nice and full of beer. Mm. Sounds like the perfect time. I'm gonna turn music back on now. I think we're just going to time lapse for a little bit. still trying to raise the ceiling and uh, our problems for the other night we just come to realize I don't know if drinking was the issue I don't like to think so I'm gonna blame lighting and uh, day one of trying the construction but yeah we got some gap between this board and this string uh, that needs to go away so we gotta raise three raft basically every every rafter we put in has to get raised and then we're gonna add some more rafters. Except for one. Well, the very first one stays. The first one's true. But yeah, these ones are bad. I mean, look at that. Oh, that's not very good. Oh, I bonked it. Nice. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. I don't think it had anything to do with the beer splitting. I think beer's helpful. That's how you get shit done good. I think this all just had to do with the uniqueness of the house. And maybe that it was our first time ever doing this. Yeah. <laughs> well, what we did know was that first board was basically level. So if we get to the string and we keep them pretty much level, they're gonna be about as good as they're gonna get. So it goes back to you, we're not gonna fuck it up. Because they're all the same, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Same. So here we are in Pops' shop. Brittany's gonna do some cutting for us. So I walk over to prep the saw and I look down. Grandpa's been here and that's not a good sign. Blood. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Maybe I should go make sure he still has all his fingers. Oh, look. <laughs> Literally right next to where the blood was, there's a symbol on the saw about chopping off your fingers. Just get it close. All right, so you're going to push down here and kind of make sure it stays and then cut it. All right, let's see it. 
fancy pants. Oh, that moves. Yes, that's why we like it. No, 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 the blade cannot touch the wood. Start it well off the wood. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm just making sure. All right, now okay. start the blade, then start your cut. Here, it's okay. All right, go. Pull the trigger. Oh, it's a thumb po safety switch. But, yeah. Yep. Leave it down until the blade stops, then let it come back up. Okay. You can't take it. <laughs> the blade's turning this way, so you you want to be sure and pull it past so that you're coming at it. So that the, the blade is turning into the wood. That's yeah, a super nice. Thing. <laughs> All right. So now, from the high side, measure 19 back this way. Make your mark. Yep. Oh, we didn't grab markers. I know. As soon as I grabbed a marker, don't mark on my tape measure. Mark on the wood. I'm not marking on your tape measure. You're drawing on my tape measure. I do what I want. I do what I want. All right. I don't know if I can video this worth a fuck, but I'm gonna try. Basically creating trusses out of the existing structure. So that way it will support the roof. So this fits perfectly. Let's cut to the angle here. I'm gonna shoot it off camera. God damn. <laughs> Didn't work at all. All right, camera, don't fall. I need to hold this. Oh boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that went about as poorly as it could have gone. Well, I'm gonna change that out, but now you can at least see the concept here. Let me shine this light up. I just cracked the fucking shit out of this one. But uh, yeah, it just runs up right there. And then you shoot these little angle screws in up to the top. And then you scab it over like that side over there. Put a big scab across, and then we'll come back, do a cross brace there, brace there, brace there, and then, uh, yeah, all these walls can come out, and it's going to self-sustain. All right, goodbye, camera. Do we, have you made one for this side? Uh, whoop. Just move that out of here, so it's the matter of chafes. It doesn't kill me. All right, so, thought process is, should be able to inverse this now. And it should fit perfectly on this side. I'm gonna call that close enough. So that's it. Just gonna put one of these on both sides to help with support and trussing. That's all I'm gonna do. Gentlemen, I hate to say it, but that is absolutely the ticket. All right, and here is what all of the long nights are for. So you'll see here that we just basically created a mini truss across the ceiling, all the way down. All right. Oh, see how this goes.
sometimes I move that quick. Mm -hmm. God, look how much nicer that pottery is. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, these ones you don't have to. Here. Do I? You don't have to on these ones. Just grab it. Here, hold it. What do you mean? It's not the same as the other. Knock it sideways. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the nail cut through. So, like, but you see, this one's right out. So, wait, what's your plan now? I'm just concerned now with the method you're trying to use here. All right, are we, do we run the risk of dropping it here and it flipping up and hitting our new Trust me, mate. Okay. I don't. I don't think it does. Think but about. Think about what you're saying. Where's it gonna pivot? I know where it's gonna pivot. My concern. My concern is once it falls Where's here, it gonna pivot? it's gonna pivot all the way down there. But my concern and is once it. How much tail is hanging up past your pivot? I'm not worried about the tail. I'm worried about the impact of once it hits the ground you and think it's bouncing. Bounce all the way back up there. No, but I think it can translate and bounce from oh, there. No. <laughs> I think it's, a, it's a possibility. Come on. Well, that's how he's playing it, with a sludge. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think it bounced three inches, much less 12 feet. 12 feet? It needs to go, like, not that much further to hit it. It bounced. You thought that end was going to bounce? It did bounce. <clears throat> it moved, like, significantly, like, probably a good six to eight inches. There's clubs, pair. They've been right down the floor. Wow. Computer screen vision. He can only see from here to here. How big your monitor? That's the total peripheral vision. Monitors. F3. Well, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> oh, y'all probably can't see nothing. Yeah, I didn't have to carry it. I like having work. knows how long we were recording in slow-mo. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fucking thumbs, dude. All right, what day are we on? What day did we decide? Numbers. 18? Um, 19. 17. I think 17. 17. I think 17 sounds right. I'll throw some things up on the screen if that's incorrect, like before, which it most likely is. But we are so freaking close. It's dark in here. 
But look at that. It's so tall. Hold on. Let me turn this light on. Lighting is everything. Oh, that's the, that's the, the rave light. Yeah, we're going to rave a little bit. Why is it doing that? I, I don't know. But there we go. It's actually probably from the fucking charger. Probably. Look at that, boy. I was thinking I'd cut it here. Maybe cut this bit off. I don't know. I'm going to shut down here for sure. So it does collapse and go down on the roof. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Well, ain't nobody want that. Ain't nobody. Sawzall. You got a blue marker. Where'd you get a blue marker? I've had it. What? You've been I, lo I lost the Milwaukee one. You've been holding out with a backup blue? Yeah. I'm not pardoned. <laughs> yeah. I'm not tarted. <laughs> House falls on me. <laughs> Impressive domino. Woohoo! <laughs> Plus, there's plenty of tards out there living really <laughs> kick ass lives. <laughs> hey. When that fell just now, I thought the whole roof was coming down. Uh, I was gonna jinx it! I was gonna jinx it! It was a bit of a pucker moment. A little bit of puckering. <laughs> That's the roof falling! Uh, no! That was a pretty cool domino, though. That looked like I knew that was gonna be there. I don't know if I'd go that far. I think it did. I think it looked like that was not the first board I've cut out of the house. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's so wide. Dude. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> so much room for activities. Feel so confident we might even be able to build bunk beds. <laughs> right here, dude. We're just gonna use only this space that we made. <laughs> like the rest of the house. It smells so bad. Oh my god, look how big it is in here now. It still smells like farts. That's not me. You liar. Well, there it is. Get this cleaned up a bit and this area will be done on this part of it. Our boards may have got a little crooked there, but that has nothing to do with the beers. Nope. Nope. Yeah, beers are a very much necessity. And you can sweep with a sledgehammer. That's, that's, you don't even need to buy a broom. Mm -mm. Might as well buy a sledgehammer, apparently. into the house is done construction wise for now um now we're moving to this side of the house uh we're gonna actually try and clean up some of this insulation in the top probably start treating the concrete for this cat pee here today and uh sometime this weekend we're gonna actually come back over here and run some electrical and a few other things um basically we're just gonna kind of scatterbrain things for a little bit we're waiting to figure out where the septic tanks are so we can decide where the addition is going on before we continue major construction but uh, we may actually end up trussing out the rest of the roof all the way through so we're free to move these walls all willy-nilly. Um, that's still up in the air, but that'll be for future videos. So uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe.